Today, people are mourning the passing of Gus Calaris, but they're also honoring his memory by stopping by the cart of Gus and Yaya's for their shaved ice. Shaved ice and bright flavors. This is the tradition since 1934 at Gus and Yaya's shaved ice stand. Lori Nickel was introduced to the stand eight years ago as a new employee at the aviary. Ernest Dorsett's grandfather introduced him to the shaved ice when he was knee high. And Josh Huff introduced some Pittsburgh visitors to the ice stand for the first time today. It's an institution, you gotta visit. You know, there's, there's really nothing like it. You know, we travel kinda all over the place and you know, this, this, is, this is Pittsburgh in like a cart and some shaved ice, that's Pittsburgh. My grandfather used to bring me over here before the uh, power games. When they was down Three River Stadium, we walked through the tunnel. I come get me an icy ball and some popcorn. He gets some peanuts and an icy ball. Nickel says Claris cared very much about the North Side community and remembers him starting a scholarship fund. When I went to my first North Side Leadership Conference luncheon, I sat at Gus's table and he was such a sweet man and was so touched to be able to establish a scholarship in his wife's name. Claris is so beloved a miniature replica of his shaved ice stand is on display as part of the model railroad exhibit at the Carnegie Science Center. I think we're all really uh, saddened to see the, the loss of an icon. He was really a piece of Pittsburgh history and uh, I just don't think it'll be the same without him. Gus and Yaya's shaved ice cart will continue throughout the summer, but during the winter, the family will reassess the business and move forward. Reporting from the North Side, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Thank you, Sheldon. A viewing for Gus Calaris will be tomorrow from 2 to 7 at the Calvary United Methodist Church in the city's Allegheny West neighborhood. That's just blocks away from where Gus parked his ice ball cart for decades. A funeral will be held Wednesday at 10 a.m. at the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church in McCandless. Gus Calaris was 92 years old.